Hello, friends of Skelevator. So this is my examination of the Rise of Evil 2-pack, which is a Target exclusive featuring the figures Keldor and Cronus, um, the evil warriors, and that's Hordak there, um, in their early days, of course. Um, the Alcala head sculpt is the real reason why I wanted this. I missed the boat on the Classics version that featured that head sculpt, so I was really excited to find this in Target. Um, the artwork here is phenomenal. We've got the Lords of Power Beast Man hanging off of there. And also this little guy, which I found here in the Dungeon Great artwork. Um, a lot of you have already seen that, so it's no news. But folks, uh, I love the little Easter eggs here for these. Um, the cross-sell art is great. The illustrations are phenomenal. Axel Jimenez and the team, you're really hitting the ball out of the park here. I love seeing that Lords of Power Beast Man. I love seeing Keldor and Cronus in action. And uh, the this scene, which includes the Conan the Barbarian posed triclops, um, is really reminiscent of the 2002 series and of many of my uh, imagined battles that I remember from when I was a kid. So this is awesome. Now, I was really contemplating leaving this in package, mainly because of the exclusivity of this two pack, but I'm an opener and I really had to get my grubby hands on these two figures. Um, they're just so cool. Um, and I wanted to really check out their posability, get a close look at that Alcala head. Now this rifle is great. It's a real throwback to the rifle that came, I believe it came with Castle Grayskull, the original one, and it also came in the weapons pack. Um, and, but really this head, this Alcala head is phenomenal, folks. You'll see in a few uh, scenes later on in this video that there are jewels in his eyes and when the, the light hits him just right, they are practically glowing. Very, very, very cool. Super pleased. Uh, right when I pulled Cronus out of the package, his arm fell out, uh, which I'm discovering is fairly common with the Origins figures, so it doesn't bother me too much. Um, and the weapon is a little warped, not a big deal. Um, but I really want to note here and, and show you all the articulation or the movement on the head for Cronus's head here is really great. Um, he does have these weird uh, weapons holsters on his back, which make no sense um, because he doesn't have his mechanical arm yet with the, exchange, the exchangeable weapons. And um, Keldor's Havoc staff is a little warped and it's kind of stiff, so I didn't want to, you know, you want to be careful with that, folks, getting it out. Um, it's pretty tight in the package. And... Um, and then, of course, his cape is uh, shoved into the plastic slot there, so you want to open it up and get it out carefully. Um, and uh, I wanted to show you that his his got the wrist braces. The costume is basically the same, except he's wearing full boots, uh, no uh, reptilian feet going on. Um, and the parts come off and are exchangeable, um, as with any, which got me excited about exploring this character and the different ways I could get Skeletor to appear, how he has appeared. Now, the sword doesn't like to stay in this hand. Just as we saw with the Prince Adam sky sled figure, the sword does not want to stay in. Although I will note, folks, that the more you mess with it and the more you let the figure settle in, um, and get acclimated to the room, um, his hand does hold the sword a little bit better. I like the Keldor head, um, and I kind of think he's super cool, and he's got this sort of like sneaky, sneaky look, but um, the main reason why I got this, folks, is that Alcala head, and I am stoked. Really pleased with this. Cronus is a little bit funky looking. His face, <laughs> got a kick out of his face, but um, 
So I wanted to try and switch out some of these parts, mainly because he has those three holsters on his back. So what if I put the mechanical arm on Cronus? Um, what if I switch off the head? Is that something I can do? Um, without taking the harness off, you'll see that um, you, can't, you can't just put Trapjaw's head onto Cronus's body. Um, the, the way it's built uh, to fit around the neck because of the moving jaw it does not allow you to put it on Cronus's body. So um, you can put the mechanical arm on Cronus um, and he looks pretty cool. In fact, I kind of prefer him with the mechanical arm, and I actually prefer him with the green um, mechanical wristband uh, on his left arm to match the, the armor on his thighs. But now it's time for a commercial break. Hello, this is Mark Begley, the host of Wake Up Heavy Recollections of Horror. Wake Up Heavy is a show where I talk about movies that blew my mind as a kid. Things like Phantasm. This morning shots are bullshit. Tourist Trap. You are so pretty. Dead and Buried. Welcome to Potter's Bluff. And Halloween 3. A joke on the children. Guests have included friend of the show and host of the Projection Booth podcast, Mike White. Genre film journalists, Anya Stanley, Jerry Smith, Sam Panico, and Simon Fitzjohn. Every once in a while, I even convince my own daughter, Cleo, to join me. That's me. <laughs> Usually, though, it's just me, a mic, and my memories of some really wonderful horror films. So come check us out, wakeupheavy.com, soundcloud.com slash wakeupheavy, or your favorite podcast platform. And don't forget, anything can happen when you wake up heavy. <laughs> and welcome back. So I wanted to get out my mini comics uh, book here and show you the Alcala head um, or the Alcala design um, that the head sculpt is based upon. Um, many of you are already familiar with that, and um, but the detail here, the attention to detail, um, the green bat on his chest um, is pretty great, um, except, of course, for his uh, bare feet. His bare uh, feet are not part of this two-pack, folks. Um, but uh, there you have it, and I'm going to show you how, um, by exchanging these parts, you're able to create as close to the Alcala um, design as we can uh, with the Origins figures. Uh, you've got the, the blue of the body matches perfectly to the body of the uh, Origins Skeletor that first came out. So if you put those arms on this uh, Rise of Evil 2-pack Skeletor, you'll get, to, you'll get that um, fin that he has on his forearms there, which is in the Alcala design. Um, and you have to take the cape off, of course, because he's not wearing a cape. That's uh, that. And his feet, um, the closest thing to the bare feet might be the reptilian feet that the original Skeletor has. Um, and the plastic color for Scareglow's feet matches the deep purple of the Keldor um, suit or the Keldor armor. Um, so I tried that. And sure enough, you've got uh, an Alcala Skeletor now, um, which is pretty cool. Although I'm thinking about doing my first experiment with customizing by making those bare feet. And here are my Skeletors and Panthors. Um, thank you so much for watching my examination of the Rise of Evil 2-pack. I really appreciate you joining me here on YouTube. Um, please click like and subscribe and tell your like-minded friends. You can also find Skelevator on Instagram and Facebook. Um, but don't forget to visit my Etsy shop, folks, and get yourself some Skelevator art. All right. I'll see you later.